Ladies, gentlemen, dragons, welcome. Cinecrope back. It's week seven, and this is rhythm. So we're gonna do rhythm practice number two. I want to go through and just review what we've done so far and then step into the future with you. So grab your sticks, your hands, your markers, your pencils, your chopsticks, whatever you got, and come along. One. Okay, okay. If I'm playing these notes, it'll sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Eighth notes, we count one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And sixteenth notes, we count one E and a. One E. That is where we left off before. So we're going to start now into this new, uh, new lesson, remembering that, but then practicing that, okay? It's easy to say, okay, this one I play once, this one I play twice, and this one I play four times. So if I wanted to play something like, I don't know, boop, 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 I could just go like this. I could just play seven, seven taps because there's seven note heads there, right? But that's not really how it's written, and that's not really what these notes mean. Each one of these notes is definitely a tap of the drum, but depending on the stem and the beam, that tells me how much of the measure the note's going to take up. That tells me how long or how short the note is going to be, how long it's going to last for or how really short it's going to last if it's a 16th note, right? So to play this, I have to first make sure I have my count right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then I've got to get my, uh, the note placements correct. So in each one of those, it goes da, 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 da. To count that, I say one, two, and three, and a. One, two, and three, and a. One, two, and three, and a. Now hold up a minute. There's nothing there. How am I supposed to count nothing? That's the thing. Music, it's important what happens and what notes we play. But equally, if not more important, are the notes that we don't play. The silences in music create tension, create mood and feeling, and are really, really important. The music that hits you the most and that you love the most has silent spaces in it that move you. You might not even notice it because there's nothing happening right then, but the feeling that you get is there. That's where this comes in. A rest. We also rest. We play. We also leave spaces. And when we leave a space, well, we have symbols to show that too. Today I'm only going to introduce one new symbol, the quarter rest. And you can probably guess that a quarter rest takes up just as much of the measure as a quarter note. They have the same duration. Quarter rest lasts for one beat. And I'm going to put it right there. And now I'm going to play these out. Let's play through it four times and say it. We'll say one, two, and three, e, enda. One, two, and three, e, enda. And if you want to count the four out loud, you can. I'm not going to because I'm going to leave a rest. I build a habit of not making any sounds during that rest. If, you, if it helps you to count the four, that's okay. You'll also notice I'm tapping my foot as I go. That's going to help me keep a steady time as I do it, all right? You can tap too. That would be really good practice for you. Here we go. One, two, and three, and a. 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 Hmm. Okay. So, today... 
we're going to get into rhythm practice two. I can read and play mixed quarter, eighth, and sixteenth notes and quarter rests. We're going to take, instead of whole measures of all the same type of note, we're going to take these four different symbols and mix them up a little bit. So you're going to practice reading and counting them um, in different groups, in different orders. Okay? I'm going to bring that up on the, uh, on the document cam for a minute and show you what the count looks like on this rhythm practice. Okay? And then we're going to play it together. All right, here we go, taking a closer look at rhythm practice number two. I can read and play mixed quarter, eighth, and sixteenth notes with quarter rests. Now, I went through already and put a yellow line for each beat. Remember, there's one, two, three, four beats in every measure, and the measures are marked off by these vertical bar lines. Every t time you see a bar line, that's the end of a bar, the beginning of the next one, and in between each set of vertical bar lines, that's four beats. So I left this first one em empty so we could just kind of space it out here. We've got one there, that's the first beat. We've got another one there, that's the second beat. We've got an eighth note there, that's two notes, but they've got to fit inside one beat, and then again, a quarter note, one. The way we count that out is one, two, three, and four. Now, just because I'm not saying the and there doesn't mean that that space isn't still there. I'm not going to go one, two, three, and four. It's one, two, three, and four. Same as if I counted one and two and three and four and but I'm only tapping, depending on the notes, tap, 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 tap. So one, two, three, and four. It might help you to think or say one and two and three and four and, and to do that for each one, that's cool. You could one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Uh, you could do that and count it out still. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, and only make sounds on the first beat, first beat, first, and then the and, and then the fourth beat. You can still be thinking one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, da, 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 da. However you do it, whatever works best for you, that's okay. Know that those spaces for the uh, the beat itself and the space that it takes up in the measure, E and A, uh, those are going to be there, whether you play them or not. Though That space should still be there. So with that in mind, let's go through and count this out. And I am not going to count out the E and A uh, every time. I'm just letting you know that you can. I'm also not going to box each one off. It's up to you, but the yellow line should help. One, two, three, and four. One, Two, three, and four. One, two, E, and a, uh, three, and four. One, two, three. Now that's a four. Remember, I wasn't counting it out loud. That's my practice to not make sound during that space. But you may want to count it out loud. That is not wrong right now by any means. One, two, and three. One, two, three. One, two, E, and a, three. One, three. One, two, and three. One, and two, and three. All right, where were we? One, two, E, and a, three. One, Three, one, two, and three. One E and a two E and a three. One, two, three. And earlier I said give it an accent. That's a symbol for an accent, which just means give it pop, a little extra pop. 
So there you go. This is here as a support if you want or need it. Um, having the count there might help you. It might just get in the way and confuse things. That's up to you. It depends on where you're at as a musician, as a learner, and as a player, you know. There's no one right way to the, to the solution here. There's many different ways to play this accurately. And whatever it is that helps you know what these notes are saying and meaning for you to play, and then to perform them accurately, whatever it is that does that is good. So get out there, practice, figure out what works best for you, and post it up. Let us see it. We're going to go practice it now. Okay. So with that in mind, and remembering to count it out as you play, we're going to go through rhythm practice number two, nice and slow. One, two, three, and four. 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 One, two, three. One, two, and three. One, two, three. One, two, three, and three. One, two, one, two, and three. One, and two, and three. One, two, three, and three. One, three. Do you notice on the rests, I'm kind of gesturing? I don't usually do that when I play, but I'm doing that to show that extra beat and make sure that I leave it in there. You might have noticed in there I miscounted too. I went one, two, but it's really one, two was the rest, three, four was the rest. It's okay if you're a little bit off. It's okay if you make a mistake. This is practice. That's why we practice, so we can get better. Let's do it again. We'll do it two more times and then wrap up for the day. One, two. Same speed. I'm going to keep it about that pace. If you need to slow it down, you can just do it on your own. Put, put it up on your screen and play right along. Here we go. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two. One more, and this time on that last one, it goes one, two, we'll give it a big pop on the end, put an accent on that, accent. All right, here we go. Last one, two, sorry, hold up. One, two, ready, go. Alright, if you noticed I did again, I counted one, rest, two, rest. Try not to, but like I said, we're all practicing together. Now, take rhythm practice number two, put it up on your screen, or print it out if you have a printer. Take a look at it, 
you can use either the Just Notes version or the annotated one with the count that I showed you. That's up to you, but practice counting and playing it right along to a steady beat. If you want to play some music in the background to give yourself something steady to play to, try it. It might sound, it might sound good with a piece of music that you're listening to. It might sound weird. You won't know until you do. Now, once you've got it, get onto Flipgrid and show it off, okay? And also, there's about 28 different posts of um, the Give Me a Beat topic. People are just putting down different kind of beats, whether it's a beatbox, uh, pencil tapping, sticks, or hands on a table, whatever it is. Try to show us what you're playing so we can see it and give us a beat. But then also, go back and respond to some of the people. Try to play back what they did or play what they did and take it to the next level, okay? Either way, check out Flipgrid. There's new posts coming up all the time. Each week I'll add something new, sometimes a few things, and um, maybe some surprises along the way. Good luck. Work hard. You can read and play mixed quarter, eighth, sixteenth notes, and quarter rests. And the more you practice, the better you're going to be at it. Be safe. Be well. I love you all. Have a good week, and I will see you soon.